What's up guys? Welcome back to Golf Simulator videos. We have a wild video for you today. We're here with a VR golf simulator. So what it actually is, is it's this Oculus Quest 2 VR headset. I have it connected to one of the controllers are connected to a real golf club, all right, grip. And we're going to play the Golf Plus golf simulator software from Oculus. Um, and it might not be from Oculus, probably from a, a certain brand, because it's actually sponsored by Top Golf and PGA and ProPutt, but it's inside the Oculus library. Everyone keeps asking me, you know, how realistic is a VR golf simulator? Uh, you know, how accurate is a VR golf simulator? Well, it's virtual reality. It's not real golf, right? So, I mean, I'm sure it can get close, but how close can it actually be? Well, I've only been messing with it for a few minutes, but I'll tell you what, this thing's pretty amazing. Um, so let's go ahead and launch our software. I want to talk about a few things as we get going. I'm in the GSV studio, a huge golf simulator. I have plenty of room. Make sure if you're going to do this, you have plenty of room. I actually drew a border. Um, that's your safety net. If you were to walk out of that or the door were to leave that, it actually stops. Uh, you know, and actually lights up. So you have to have a big space so it doesn't stop in the middle of the game if you're swinging outside of that. Um, I noticed that was a big deal. I'm also casting my video in audio to my computer. It's going to be a lower quality than you guys are seeing. Um, you can see the logos there from Top Golf and PGA, et cetera. But I want to make sure you guys know that the audio and video are coming to the computer via wireless. So they're going to be lower quality, but I thought it'd be a better experience showing it widescreen and everything. There were a few different ways to do it, um, and I thought that would be the best. So I'm actually going to uh, go to the menu because I was actually out on a course messing around. So first thing first, um, let's go to practice, and I'm just going to go to the clubhouse. All right. So uh, we'll go to the main clubhouse for Golf Plus, and then from here, I'll do some driver, we'll do some chipping, some putting, but like, look how crazy this is. So like, here we are, I can actually recenter myself. This is really cool how you do this. So now I'm recentered. I'm looking at the range. I have this menu. Why is there a video playing? Well, I'll bring up the menu really quick and show you. There's a full blown media player inside of here. It's crazy. You can play all different playlists of things. You can listen to golf lessons and watch golf lessons. Like watch if I turn this up. I don't want to get a copyright strike, but so let's turn this up for a second, hit play. Like you can literally watch your favorite, like, you know, music video and everything while you're going. Um, so I can mute it and leave it going. Uh, I just don't want to get a copyright strike for, uh, you know, any of the, the audio. So, um, so here we are, we're out at the range. First thing you want to do if you're using a grip like this is go to settings, go to controls, go to custom if you're using a custom one like I am. And it allows you to basically set up and make sure that everything feels normal. And once it does, you just hit trigger and you're good to go. All right, and you place your ball down like this and grip it and rip it, really. You just can't swing super fast. If I ever miss it in the video, you'll know that I was swinging too fast is what I found because it whips the controller too fast. But let's just go ahead and make a nice smooth swing. Looks like a little bit of a fade or slice there. What's it doing? Uh, see, I swung plenty fast, 171 ball speed. But now here's where it gets interesting. Everybody talks about realism and, and everything. Like, look how crazy this clubhouse is. And I can warp all around. I'll show you guys things. It's really cool. So just, you know, hover over for a new ball. Let's go ahead and close the club face a little and try to swing a little bit from the inside. Can I straighten this thing out or almost draw the ball? Let's see, I corrected it pretty well. Another good one, 168. All right, let's do one more. I'm going to try to close that club face even more and see if I can get this thing maybe even working a little bit to the left. There we go. I mean, this is crazy, isn't it? You can see the club face and what I'm doing. Um, so you can warp around. Uh, you can actually like go over here. I'll show you this golden bear. You can, you know, walk around. There's like always different things and, you know, different areas and stuff like that. But let's go back here and let's go down to this little practice facility. All right. Perfect. That'll be like, a, you know, kind of a difficult short chip to show you. Uh, I'm going to pull up my menu. I'm going to select lob wedge and I'm going to place a ball down somewhere like here. All right. And uh, I think I'm still oriented decent. You can always recenter yourself by holding A, which I think is something to, to know and understand. So if you look up, it shows you how far everything is. 30 feet, uh, it's uphill a little bit there and it's breaking you know, right to left. So let's say you wanted to just do like a little chip, almost like a bump and run, see what that looks like. 
I knew it was going to run way, uh, way to the right. That was pretty close. But let's say you wanted to do a little more of like a flop. So I open my stance up. I open the face up. Is it going to read this properly is the question. Oh, yeah, it is. A little too much. We can try another one. Ah, still a little too much. This is where it comes in where you're going to have to understand, you know, the actual speed that the club head's going. So probably something like that. There you go. Isn't that crazy, though? You can control the face and the ball goes different ways. Let's aim a little bit this way now and do a little bit of a flop. Yeah, I just need the ball to kind of go start that way a little bit. I mean, this is just wild. Just wild. So, chip one right at the pin here. Oh, got to go harder than that. See how the low one actually doesn't take off as much as the high one does? There we go. Oh, right at the pin. So, I mean, I just think that's amazing. Like, let's say, let's say we wanted to hit one farther out. 26 yards out there. A little more of a normal chip. 26 yards. Just a little too far. This is crazy. All right, I want to go out and play some real golf. I want to show you guys what this is all about. Um, so I can clear shots if I want to. There goes all the balls and everything. But let's go to menu. Let's go to single player. There's your top golf range and everything. I mean, this is a lot to show you guys in one video. Um, I have it on practice mode because I was out checking some things out. Uh, so it's on practice mode. And I was looking at hole two. I thought it'd be the perfect one. This green speed fast, I feel like it's way too fast. I'll show you guys. But let, let's just go ahead and start. Go out to the hole and play a hole for you guys. And then we can adjust things or show you something different. But I don't want to make it a marathon video. I always try to keep them realistic lengths. I want to give you guys this first look at VR, you know, golf simulators. But I mean, this is crazy. You're going to have to get used to it all. I've had it for an hour, you know, and I'm kind of getting used to everything. But um, so my ball's not perfectly centered. What am I going to do? I'm actually going to just kind of set up and I'm just going to hit this button to recenter. And then now I'm completely recentered and I'm good to go. So I need to swing away. This is a par five. I got to get this thing down there. So let's make a good swing. Not too fast, of course. Oh, I didn't close that face down though. But at least I got it down there. I mean, that's not too bad. I only carried 240, but it rolled way out. So I got really good roll out. You can actually go up and see the ball rolling and finishing. So that's where it finished. I'll try to do that sooner on this shot and you'll be able to see Let's go ahead and make sure this is where I want it. All right, I can just hit this really center. Looking inside, yeah, we should be good. Um, now, if I wanted to aim, I can hit B, and you can actually change where you're aimed. It's right at the pin right now. Um, let's say I want a little more spin on that, so I could just kind of go to high spin. Let's say I wanted to kind of fade it in there just a little bit. Well, I could just hit fade a little bit and fade it in there. And let's see how this goes. Let's go. All right. 176. It's a 185 club. So that's pretty good to hit the fade in there. Oh, man. That could be really good. Why didn't I hit the thing to watch it? <laughs> I forgot to hit it. We'll play another one so I can show you guys. You can actually follow the ball in the air from like up above. Not a bad shot. So this is for Eagle. This is where it gets tough though. So I'm gonna look up at 17 feet. You can see it's breaking right to left. Watch how you have to hit a 17 foot putt. It's not the easiest in the world. 17 feet, I saw how it was breaking. Look at that, it was way too much because I kind of like yipped at it so I can follow the ball rolling down. This is, this is where it gets tough is the putting in my opinion. So it's 12 feet, it's a tiny bit uphill. There's the break. Just got to get smoother with the putter. I noticed if you like kind of like yip at it, it hates that. Oh, I nailed it. That was for birdie. So that was a much better stroke, you know, for the speed of the green. So it's that sensitivity. It's not that it's unrealistic. I feel like it's more like the sensitivity. Um, so I can go to a new hole now. Let's, uh, here's a par three. Let's check out a par three. I want to show you guys what it's like flying. So um, I got a 162 club. It's only 151 and it's downhill. So let's pull this up again and let's hit a fade in there. Let's make sure it's a high spinner. All right, big old fade. 
and let's see if that's the play. And I'll remember to hit the targets or uh, my trigger so you guys can see it. Hit that trigger. Look it from up above. I can let go and I can hit it again. And I can even hit it again. Oh, and see it checked up. That was a pretty good shot. I think I'm getting used to this. I mean, I only have 20 some swings under my belt here, but I think I'm getting used to this. Hit my trigger again to go to my ball. It's a downhill putt, 15 feet, breaking just a little bit to the right. All right, I know how I have this, this I'm just sensitive, very, very sensitive. This is crazy. Go in. Oh, that was just a little too hard. I think it had a chance. I can make this though. 5.4 feet. What is that cottonwood flying around? Look how you can look around the golf course. Isn't that crazy? So I got my uh, music video playing. Mar little marshmallow. 5.4 feet. And what is that? It's kind of right at it. Trigger to hit. Make sure it's activated before you go. Let's make this. Let's make this for par. Boom, nailed it, made par. So birdie and par, I'd say that's pretty sweet. All right, I wanna show you guys Top Golf because this is crazy. The only thing about Top Golf is that you'll, you'll find is you can't use a custom controller. It must be just like a different piece of the software because I just went in there really quick to see it. And it took me through a tutorial and the club was, was not right. So, I mean, I could hold it up here and show you guys, see? And I could hit a shot just to show you. But see, I'm holding it up here. But look at this, this is crazy, isn't it? They have cornhole. You can go over there and you can play cornhole and stuff. Um, I mean, this is wild. So let's just hit a shot really quick. I just can't use my grip, so it's really kind of weird. Oh, that wasn't bad, though. Now check this out. Just just like Top Golf, you just wave it and it comes back down. Try to hit one more. This is a little difficult. There we go. Oof, almost in the center. See how no balls coming out? Wave it. There it is. So let's go back to the clubhouse now. I mean, there's every, look at this, the island, pitch pong. That's what I was talking about. You can go over and, and do different things. They have practice, top pressure, top drive. I mean, this could be a ton of fun and you can play with other people online. So it says join with room code. You can create a uh, room or they could join you. There's pro putt and then there's uh, the clubhouse. I can show you guys pro putt really quick. Um, so it takes you out to another piece of software essentially called pro putt. And it's kind of like a putt-putt course. So it'd be great for like kids and family members and everything like that. So um, this is what it looks like. Welcome to Pro um, Putt. I really it's a beautiful day on the course and we can't wait to get you air. out there. I mean, I, First, let's take a minute to I teach you some of the basics. It definitely needs the, now choose uh, whether you'll be putting right-handed or left-handed. Yeah. Hit the trigger with the controller so let's you just go choose ahead. to use. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Pro Putt uses only one controller. Yep. Please Only set the left controller, controller so I haven't gone through and hit any trigger of this on the yet. right controller when you're So ready. essentially, I mean, it's going to take me through all this. So I'm going to hit my yeah. Oculus menu. I'm going to go to quit, and it's going to take me back to my Oculus kind of home base. I didn't really show you guys around this, but that's the home base. So and if I wanted to go back to Golf Plus, I could do that right there. But I figured I would exit out. Um, I'm going to leave this on because it's my microphone. <laughs> I took it off the very first time I was testing this out and I noticed the audio was gone. So this has been VR golf. I mean, a VR golf simulator. I can't wait to hear what you guys think. I'll be honest with you. I'm impressed. I mean, it's pretty cool. It's fun. I mean, I could see how this could start to get integrated more. Is it real golf? I mean, no, you don't have a golf club. You're not hitting a ball, but you saw how I was adjusting like face angles and everything. I mean, this is crazy. I mean, it, it gets people into golf, you know, more environments, uh, you know, interaction, things like that. People want to play real golf. I love it for that. I mean, I really do. So comment below. Let me know what you think. I appreciate the suggestions that everybody sent to, you know, cover a VR golf simulator. I mean, it is a golf tech channel. And so anything golf tech we're going to cover. So, I mean, always make those suggestions. Shoot me an email. If you're looking to purchase a golf simulator, anything along those lines, make sure you shoot me an email. I love helping everybody out. Appreciate you guys watching. As always, stay tuned. We have some really good stuff coming soon.